Hey folks, this video is part of a series on GitHub Copilot feature highlights. To find the other videos, go to github-copilot.zbia.ms. In this video, I want to explain the different plans and how they convert with the different premium requests that we now have in GitHub Copilot and what those premium requests are. Before we get started, we first need to understand the different plans that are available for GitHub Copilot. We have Copilot Free, Copilot Pro, and now Copilot Pro Plus for individual users. And we have Copilot Business and Copilot Enterprise for more of the Teams versions of GitHub for really enterprises. And if you have a GitHub Enterprise Cloud account, for example, you will get a business or enterprise license. These come with different pricing models, for, uh, for example, because Copilot Free is already in a name, it's free. But for Pro and Pro Plus, you start paying by the month per user that you have there. And you can see that Copilot Business sort of matches what Copilot Pro can do for certain things. And Copilot Enterprise mostly matches with what Copilot Pro Plus can do. And here you can also see that there is different premium requests available per user per month. And that is why we created this video to explain a little bit more of what that is, because these are the limits that you have available uh, per user. And it's good to understand of what the heck are these premium requests and what can I do with that and what can I not do with that, for example. Before we dive into what premium requests are, we first need to make sure that we have the same understanding of the basics. Copilot Free gives you 2000 code completions. So while you're typing, it can complete uh, partially uh, the rest of the sentence, for example, the rest of the line, or it can give you multiple lines of code while you're typing there as well. So every time it does that, it counts as one code completion. And with free, you already get 2,000 code completions per month available in the plan for everybody that has a GitHub account worldwide to use. We also get 50 chat messages or premium requests available in that plan as well. And I'll talk more about what those premium requests actually are in the next slide as well. As soon as you switch over to the paid plan, you'll all of a sudden get unlimited code completions every single month. So while you're typing, Copilot can suggest uh, the next line or the next block of code, for example, those will just happen unlimited, whatever plan you have, as long as you start paying for it. And you can already see here, we also have unlimited chats with the base models in here as well. So as soon as you start paying, you have unlimited chats with the base model that is available. I'll talk more about that, what the base model is uh, in the next part as well. First, we need to look at what actually is a premium request according to the documentation at github.com. It says a premium request is anything where you are conversing in Copilot chat other than the base model. I'll talk about that in the next slide. So when you do, for example, something with edits, uh, different than the base model, so you're using something like the new Cloud Solnet models that became available, or you're doing something with Gemini, those are seen as premium requests. Whether you do that in edit mode or in agent mode, for example, those are premium requests. Even agent mode, whenever you do something with the base model, that is seen as a premium request as well. If you run a GitHub Copilot code review, that will automatically look at your pull request changes, for example, and does a first review round on, on top of that and see what is there. Also part of a premium request. The single uh, moment you click on run this code review for me, that is one premium request. Even for Copilot extensions, so pulling things in from the extensions marketplace that is there, like going to Datadog, for example, or talk to Docker Hub, those are extensions that you can install from the marketplace. Every time you make a conversation with that extension, that is seen as a premium request. So what are we then talking about? Well, uh, you need to understand that the base model is now GPT-40. Every time you touch that in the chat, for example, is seen as a uh, call to the premium request. Uh, and you can see on top here that, hey, if you have a, a paid user account there, then you will get unlimited requests to the base model. So the normal way of chatting with uh, GitHub Copilot against GPT-40, and that is now part of the model selection that you have in the chat window, that is unlimited for paid users. If you have Copilot free, that included 50 chat uh, interactions. So those count as one premium request for Copilot free. You have 50 of them available per month. Do you need more? Then you need to upgrade to a paid plan. And you can see here at the bottom that the different models now all of a sudden have a different multiplier available 
of how they link to premium requests as well. The base model, ChatGPT 4.0, is seen as the standard. Uh, and if you're paying, you're not uh, limited to any of the requests there. But for Cloud, for example, if you use uh, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet or 3.7 Sonnet, those count as a single premium request. And we've seen you get 300 of them, for example, in Copilot Business per user per month. So be aware that, hey, maybe sometimes you need to start thinking of, can I do this with the base model? Is that good enough? Can I then potentially retry that with a different model? Be aware that that counts as a premium request and you only have so, uh, uh, so a certain number of them available per month. You can see here that GPT 4.5, the newest model that is available, actually counts as a 50 times multiplier against the base model. We can also see that the model from Google, for example, example Gemini 2.0 Flash, only counts as a quarter of a premium request. So you can make up to four times more of those requests than the normal uh, model itself. Uh, and especially with Cloud, for example, that is usually the standard that people are using these days. O1 has a 10x multiplier, so be aware of those kinds of uh, mitigations or limitations there as well. So putting that into perspective, you now know what the premium requests are, and you can here see again of how many of those you have available in your license version. So if you have Copilot Pro Plus, now you have 1,500 premium requests per month available. As soon as you start paying, you are bound to these limits as well, of course, uh, and paying users can actually enable additional usage at uh, $4 cents per premium request uh, in there as well. So be aware, of course, uh, if you still hit uh, something like a multiplier with GPT 4.5, for example, those count as 50 times uh, uh, with the multiplier. So one single request will cost you 50 times the $4 cents in here, so two bucks. This shows that we're actually now bringing the cost of uh, running large language models. Those need to be hosted somewhere. There needs to be a business model attached to that. We're bringing that uh, choice to the user as well, and they need to start thinking about what they're actually doing in here. If we're asking a simple question, should I do that with the model, the base model of ChatGPT 4.0 that I have unlimited requests for, or maybe should I trigger one of the other models that might give me a better result, for example. So again, setting that into perspective, uh, be aware that if you have a limited set of premium requests uh, available a month, I haven't seen what the actual error message will be when this is being rolled out. Currently, while we're recording this, this is getting to be started, and we have some cutoff days when these will start to apply, for example. You'll probably get a message inside of the chat window that says, hey, you rate, hit your rate limit, for example, and we're now going uh, into overage charges. If you have enabled that, that is something you need to set up, of course. Otherwise, it will just cap you at the uh, amount of requests per month that you see available. So again, as an example, if you're a Copilot business user, you have 300 premium requests per month. So if you would constantly ask GPT 4.5 for specific sets of help, for example, in the chat conversation, be aware you only can ask 60 questions in there. Otherwise, you will go over it. So be mindful of what you're trying to do. I would recommend doing this, for example, for something that doesn't work in ChatGPT 4.0. Try that one out first. It's a known model and we can use it for a lot of things. If the results are not good enough, then maybe switch to something else. Uh, my go-to these days is Cloud, for example. I'll try that one out first. Uh, and that will cost me a premium request. Uh, but then if you really want to do some deep thinking and get a better, uh, potentially a better result out of that, then you could say, well, let's do this in agent mode. Ask ChatGPT 4.5, for example, that has a big multiplier in it. But since agent mode will run longer time and actually try to fix the uh, problem that you stated there as well, hopefully you will get better results out of that. So with that, you have a little bit more insight of what premium request actually is and how those are set up with limits per month and how you can think about these things as well. Visit github-copilot.zbia.ms for the other videos.